Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to visualise SharePoint list data in Excel and also how to embed those Excel pivot tables and data inside a SharePoint page. So like, like we've got here, this is a graph of the tabular data that we've got inside a SharePoint list that sits just below it on, uh, under the sales leaderboard. So that's a live feed of that data inside that um, graph. So I'm going to show you how to create one of those from scratch. So the first thing we do is open up Excel because we're going to create it in, in Excel and then upload it into SharePoint. So I'm going to create a new blank workbook in Excel and that this Excel document is going to um, bring the data in from the SharePoint list. So I'm just going to go to uh, data across the top and then import it from other sources and from OData data field. So when this comes up and it asks me for a link, I go back to the SharePoint site and just copy the URL. So I want, what I actually want is the site URL, not the whole URL. So we'll paste that in first and then what I'll do is I'll just get rid of the, the end of that and then we put in the link to the web service um, so that's underscore vti underscore bin slash listdata.svt so I press next on here and then finish and this will bring up a list of all the different SharePoint lists that sit on that particular site so I'm going to have to select um, the sales list that uh, I was just looking at, so the sales leaderboard. So just find that in here, tick that, press next, and then finish. So I'll just leave those as default. So it's asking me um, to override the data connection file. I'm just going to press yes on there. I'm not too worried about that and when it comes to what sort of data I want to import it as I'm going to import it as a pivot chart and that's a nice visualization of the data so it's really easy to create a visual representation of that data so down the right hand side here I've got a list of all the different SharePoint columns so when I tick on those you'll see so commission shows you commission on the chart uh, monthly sales, monthly profit, and then I do want the names of the of the staff members. So I'll take part and you've got the full um, list data but inside a nice um, pretty chart. So if I refresh this now it will actually refresh it live from that SharePoint list and update the data in there. If I came into the SharePoint list and I wanted to change the figures for um, let's say Jackie um, on here. I can edit that SharePoint list item. So I'll just put in some smaller figures so we can see that change on the chart. So I'll change that down to uh, 15,000, that down just to a few thousand. Save that. So that's changed it inside the SharePoint list. If I go back into Excel, you'll see it hasn't changed here, but if I refresh the data source, it will go, it will query SharePoint and it will update uh, the graph and you can see um, Jackie's sale figures uh, go down. So I just need to save this somewhere on my machine. I've saved that uh, on my machine. So to get it into SharePoint, we need to make sure it's stored inside SharePoint so it can be accessible from anywhere. So I'm just going to upload my Excel document into this document library on the same site. So I've just selected that. You could just drag and drop it in there as well. So it's called Pivot Table. And if I go back into my home page, we can add it to the SharePoint page. So just so like we've got that Excel um, pivot chart on there at the moment, we can add this one that we've just created. So I'm just going to start off by deleting that one so you can see how to add it from scratch. So just delete that. I'm going to just put the the sales leaderboard a bit further down and put the chart at the top of the page. So I go to insert and web parts 
and it's under business data that category and it's the Excel web access web part we just add that to the page we can then connect it up to an Excel document so um, we can either do that by clicking open the tool pane or just go to edit web part and then here you can see I can select the workbook so I can click on the browse button and that will take me to um, navigate the site so it's under the sales site in the document library called documents select pivot table that's one we've just created and if you wanted to you could also name the item that you want to show you so you don't show the whole spreadsheet um, now I know that this one's called chart one but if you don't know the name of it you can just add the whole thing and then you can you'll see from the drop down the list of all the different named charts and tables you can also add your own um, your own names using defined names in Excel so this one's called chart one I put it in there and it's now on the page so it's there live inside SharePoint and if I again if I go to um, edit one of these items so if I go and put those figures back up again Now that web part will automatically refresh um, depending what you do in the web part settings so you can refresh that whenever you want um, but I'm just going to do a manual refresh so we can see that change now and you'll see that um, the sales figures for Jackie then change you can see that's a live uh, representation of that data from that SharePoint list and um, it's just been refreshed so that's how you can get SharePoint list data into a chart on a SharePoint page or just into Excel as a data source. Hope that's been useful and check out our website.